Christian Hebenstreit, uh, General Manager at Medidata. Um, I'm accountable for everything uh, which is happening in EMEA, uh, from operations to sales to product development. The technological landscape uh, is changing every day and I think what we have seen so far over the past two to three years is, is amazing. So, uh, you know, we have fully imp implemented cloud computing. We are utilizing machine learning, artificial intelligence. Uh, you know, we are working with data science concepts now. It's a different world than just, just a couple of years ago and we are not doing this uh, just for technological reasons, you know, but we want to do this in terms of being more patient-centric in order to be closer to patients, to support them in the best possible way. And I think um, ways that we have developed over the past years um, are purely patient-centric. And I think that's something which is a major differentiator when you compare us and our industry uh, to uh, where we were just a couple of years ago. The, landscape that we see today is changing every day so it's uh, um, so when you're working in tech and in life sciences so those are probably the you know the fastest moving industries uh, you know where you can working and I think things like data science and machine learning are fully implemented right now within our industry so they are really day-to-day -day jobs like uh, um, coding exercises for instance or facial recognition so those are all areas where we can um, today utilize those new concepts which wasn't possible just a couple of years ago and I think that's something when you're working in our industry that's probably one of the most fascinating pieces of it you see those changes uh, with positive outcomes for patients every day and I think that's that's amazingly fascinating. Well technology should support uh, the acceleration and the de-risk of clinical trials. So basically make them uh, more secure in order to uh, get better outcomes when a sponsor is submitting um, a clinical trial to the regulator so that he's able to, to market those drugs and bring them to patients. Um, and I think we can definitely make those clinical trials faster in order to apply the latest technology like machine learning, uh, like artificial intelligence. You can also utilize historical data uh, the beauty of clinical data is that it's already pretty clean, so you can start utilizing data from historical clinical trials from day one onwards, so you don't need to structure those data. And I think that's something which is the beauty of our industry, that you can really make use um, of all the technological advantages um, available today. The good thing is, uh, you know, that you've got lots of supports from various stakeholders. Obviously, you know, Patients are asking for this, but even today we are getting lots of requests coming from regulators. So they are more or less, you know, the driving force around this because they want to have all these technological advantages implemented uh, as soon as possible because obviously it will benefit patients massively. But clinical trials as they stand today are much more granular than just a couple of years ago. So we are looking into much more rare diseases than we have done this just a couple of years ago. You're also looking into things where it's difficult to engage with patients. You know, just think about Alzheimer's, just think about um, clinical trials where it's very difficult to find the right patients because obviously finding the right quality and quantity of patients is one of the biggest challenges that a sponsor uh, today has. So therefore, applying technologies like setting up international virtual trials, for instance, so where the patients don't need to come to the hospital all the time, um, is on the one hand side improving his personal life or her personal life quite massively, yeah, because it's obviously helping uh, the patients, you know, to live a better life even during the clinical trial, but it also enables the sponsor to find the right amount of patients um, as it's needed. And as I said before, trials are becoming more and more granular. You are looking into different therapeutic areas and finding and recruiting uh, the patients in time and making the entire experience during the clinical trial um, you know, as good as possible for the patients, that's a challenge that you can solve with technology today. Well, today we're talking a lot about patient centricity and uh, you know, it's one of these buzzwords that you hear all the time. 
Um, I think you know we should focus on this by looking into all organizational aspects and all stakeholders. So patient centricity cannot be achieved just from a technological standpoint. You know, it's impacting all pieces of the organization. So therefore, if you want to be patient centric, your organization needs to be patient centric, you know, and then you will have much more positive outcomes, um, you know, for all patients involved uh, um, within your clinical trial. So one thing that companies are doing is, is that they are connecting R&D into the commercial space of their engagement. Um, in other words, you as a pharma company or a biotech company or a sponsor as we call them, you need to know precisely where you want to engage uh, within R&D. So what are the core markets? You know, what's the best launch strategy? How can I achieve the best peak sales, you know, right after launching the drugs? Because this is obviously impacting your R&D cycles. And having all those information available before you're engaging within R&D, I think this is something which is essential. We just, a year and a half ago, we bought a company called Shift and they're exactly looking into those areas and uh, feedback that we're getting from clients that we are starting to connect R&D into, into the commercial space um, is overwhelmingly positive right now. I think the main trends of the upcoming years will be dominated by data. And uh, because you know, the amount and the quality of data um, that is gathered on a daily basis um, is enormous. So you can actually start making use of those. Yeah? And one example, for instance, is that we are starting together with our clients to set up synthetic control groups where you can really make use of historical clean clinical data in order to improve the results of a clinical trial. Obviously, you know, this will have huge financial um, implications to uh, sponsors because obviously they can set up clinical trials much more effectively. But just think about the ethical standpoint of the situation. You can actually give more patients the opportunity uh, to get the new and potentially better drug. I think that's something that you will see a lot over the next upcoming years.